Welcome to RPM. In this video, we'll discuss about UiPath collections, where we can perform operations like append item to collections, build collections, collections to data table, exist in collections, filter, merge, and remove operations. If you wanted to learn from scratch, please be available from start to end of this video. Here, we'll drag and drop assign activity where we'll add control list in array format. So this will become my input file. By using this input file, we'll perform several operations. Here, I created variable control list where I wanted to add new list. Within this list, I will add all those countries need. So new list of string from country list that is array first item I wanted to add as India, Nepal, UK. So these three countries we have. Let's consider I wanted to add a new item in country list. Here I will add other country within existing list and the country name is England and Russia. So whenever we'll get an output, it will have five country list. And finally, I wanted to store those into country list variable, which will be get printed into right line activity. Here, we have to do the join operations and finally once i will run the code we will have all five countries are added into existing list now the output is india nepal uk england and russia now next activity i am using as exist in collections here we will use same variable country list and wanted to verify if nepal exists or not And finally, I will store this into country exist variable. Here, let me add other conditions. If it exists, it should print in right line activity as yes, it is exist. If not, then it should print does not exist. Let me run the code and see the result. Because Nepal is already available in the list, that's the reason, yes, it exists and the list will get printed. If you want to try it out negative conditions, we can also do it where you can just try to see if Nepal, instead of Nepal, you wanted to see for any other country which is not available. So here, will change it to USA because USA does not exist we will get second answer that is from else conditions so no it does not exist now next operations I wanted to perform as remove from collections where I wanted to remove specific item where here I will add exactly same variable country exist and will remove uk and if you can see remove element a specific item and here finally we'll store the output in remove collections variable and this variable we will use it for input of right tile activity where it will print the remove list so string dot join and then in double quotes after that, I wanted to print as remove collections. So whatever is remaining, those value will get printed. Instead of object, we'll change it into generic variable. 
And whenever I will run the code, we will have the remove list are available. Now we have removed UK. So we have just four countries are available into the list. We can also do it by index where you have to specify the index order like 0, 1, 2, 3. So it means fourth value will be removed. Now you can see England got removed in this case. Next activity I am using here merge collections where we can merge two collections together. We already have the collections available here. I wanted to add a new collections where it should have different country list. And variable I am creating as country list 2 where I am going to add new list in country list 2. My new country name is Japan, China and Sri Lanka. Now in merge collections we have to provide both the collections name. First collection is country list and second collections I wanted to add as country list 2. Add the same information will stored into merge collections variable which will get printed into right line actions. Now here you can see string dot join and finally the value which I wanted to print it. Whenever I will run, we'll get final output as both the country list name. Now here you can see first it got printed country list one data country list two data and finally the merging operations of both the country now here i will again use one more activity that is collections to data table where i will add exactly same variable which we receive from merge collections but we have to change their data table and finally we'll store this value into dt collections as variable which we can even print it in to right line activity so we'll add here other activity that is output data table as text and by using that we'll print this order now here i wanted to print on message box so we'll use the previous output into message box to get value Now here you can see all the lists are available into message box. That's how quickly we will get all the country informations into the list. Now here I wanted to perform filter operations for that I am creating a new sequence with the name filter collections. And here we will add build collections. Just change the name of belt collections as employee salary. First item I will add here as 5000. Next item will add as 10,000. A new entry will keep adding whenever we click on add entry. We have four items in the collections which I wanted to store into new variables that is new collections and same informations i wanted to print into right line activity provide here the uh, variable name along with string dot join and then in double quotes and finally new collections name let me run and see the result now here we got all those informations let's perform filter collections operations where We'll drag and drop filter collections activity and here I wanted to filter it out. Current item greater than 10,000 will get all the employee salary which will have salary greater than 10,000. Same informations I wanted to store into new variable that is filter collections and the same thing will get printed into either message box or into right line actions. We'll change this variable name and that's it.
Whenever I will run, I will have the output available. That's how we can quickly work with UiPath collections, which will help us to make our life easier. Without writing a single line of code, we can perform several operations in terms of collections. We can build a complete list and play around it. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to share with the new circle. And if you are visiting this channel first time, don't forget to hit like and subscribe tab. Bell notifications is more important for you. Whenever I'll, I will upload a new video, you will get a notification. So make sure to click on bell icon for further updates. That's all for today. We'll see you in further part of the video. Thank you for watching.